not that that would ever happen to us, but the JSON API specification comes with uh, an opinion on how error objects should be expressed. And, um, and the JSON API module follows that and uh, wants you to have meaningful error objects that the clients may expect in order to react to, to it. Like for instance, if we have a validation error when creating an article, we want to return saying, hey, the, we could not create the article and this is why. This is the, the field that failed, and this is why it failed. So uh, that is uh, something that is expected here, and uh, it has this, uh, this structure, but uh, I, I better just show. So um, imagine that you're doing, and I have some of the examples here, uh, you create an article, right? Uh, we do a post, as, as we, we said before, um, but we add as an attribute an NID, and that is something that Drupal is not gonna like, because uh, uh, when you do a post and you create an article, the NID should be generated. Uh, you should not be able to pass one. So we, if I click send in here, I should get an error, a uh, 400 error, uh, in in particular. So if we scroll down a little bit. Oh, actually we get a 500 error because we have an integrity concern violation uh, because we already have a, a 2100 uh, NID. So uh, it gives you this nicely formatted error with uh, the title, status, the details, and it also gives you the stack trace. Uh, if uh, you have permissions to it because uh, it gives you the trace only if you have uh, permissions to say it. So uh, if you were executing an operation and you don't have permissions to see the trace, you would just not get it. But in this case, uh, since we are sorry, since we are authorizing ourselves as the admin, uh, as the admin user. Uh, we can see the, the traces. So um, this is one example of an error object. Uh, we could uh, do more errors. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna try to create an, an article with a post request, and I'm only sending the content type. So I'm trying to create an article as an anonymous user, and I don't have permissions for that. So you will see that uh, in return, we get uh, an error object uh, with a forbidden uh, response code, and it says that uh, the current user is not allowed to post in the selected resource, and uh, it gives you a nice ID and uh, where this, uh, this pointer is. So, uh, yeah, you can uh, play with, uh, with this, and uh, it's nice that you have an unexpected error format in there because uh, it allows you to react to errors in your in your client code if you if you need to uh, lastly i want to show you uh, that uh, you may have errors inside of collections because uh, we have dealing with uh, just uh, particularities of these um, of these errors with doing posts but what if you do a get on this collection, right? I'm gonna just create a new tab here, so I don't I don't overwrite my example. Um, so what if you do a, a get on this collection and one of the articles uh, you don't have permissions to see it because it is unpublished? Uh, what would happen then? Uh, would the whole collection fail? Uh, would you just not see the the article? But if you don't see the article uh, what would happen is that instead of 50 items that you would expect, you would get 49, and that would be very weird. So uh, in that eventuality, uh, we call that partial success. Uh, what you get is the, the usual response. So we, you would get the 49 articles, and when you scroll to the bottom, in a meta section, 
Oops. Um, actually, let me scroll up. And uh, call IDs. Oh, maybe I just don't have uh, an unpublished article in here. Um, yeah, I'm going to edit this one, one at random. Uh, 2132. Uh, load. Edit. Gonna edit one at random. Save and unpublish. So this one is now unpublished. And I'm gonna click send. This should now have an unpublished article in somewhere. Too many articles over here. Oh, I, sh I think I have. Uh, mm, all right, I think I have an example in here. Sorry, I couldn't find that uh, that particular article. I, I got lost into the, the river of responses. Um, yeah, so uh, this is what I, I was telling you. So in in this case, uh, what we what we have is that we are trying to we're trying to include um, we're trying to include a, uh, a resource that we don't have access to, and uh, what that ends up returning is that we get all the payload. Uh, then the NID and the related, uh, but one of the related articles uh, we don't have access, so uh, we get one of them, but not the other one. So the other one instead we get an a meta object with an errors array, and it's telling you that this particular this particular article you cannot get it because you're not allowed to. Uh, to see it. It's probably because it is unpublished. Uh, and this article has a relationship to other articles called field related. And uh, in this particular article, we have two related articles. One of them is published and one of them is not published. So that's why you get one of them in the includes section, in the included section, and one of them uh, is uh, is not available and you get a 403. So this is uh, how you will get errors. Um, and it is important that you know this because you need to plan for errors that may happen in your client code.